Hello and welcome. This is Raheem Zulfikar Ali from Excel Basement Private Limited. In this video tutorial, I will explain you that how I created income statement of Microsoft for the last five years in just less than one hour or 60 minutes. So if you are primarily a, a basic to intermediate level of user of Power BI, so you will be able to create exactly same kind of dashboard. But there are some points to be considered before we create this layout in Power BI. So the primarily the most important thing about this dashboard is the database and how I get that database. I will explain you in this video and I will show you a couple of options also available. So there is a website which is called macrotrends.net and on this website you can uh, get the data of Microsoft income statement right and uh, it's not only an income statement which is available but if you can see here uh, you can also get the balance sheet when you click on balance sheet the page will get refresh and you can have the numbers of balance sheet as well right similarly you have the cash flow statement and key financial ratios as well uh, but in this particular dashboard I have just focused on the income statement of Microsoft and that is for the last five years only okay whereas if you want to do some more advanced analytics regarding this financial statement so you need to bring income statement balance sheet cash flows and key financial ratios and that could be uh, basically four tables which will be imported in your Power BI so once you get this income statement what I did is uh, I just copy this hyperlink okay and I went to my Power BI application uh, you know that how to get data from web if you don't know let me tell you you need to click on get data and from common data sources you will find a web option available so you can import data from a web page so what what just ne you need to do is you need to click on this option and just paste the URL BI will detect that if there is an any table available so you can just check mark on that table and import so let me show you how it looks like so uh, this is the table where you find a column of description and then I have just uh, there are five years you can bring more than five years but I wanted to do some uh, analysis regarding the last five years a data set uh, the years are from 2016 till 2020 and I have added two columns uh, that is for the variance and variance in percentage okay very easy to create the variance uh, column which is uh, basically subtracting the numbers for the year 2020 from 2019 right and variance in, in percentage is uh, will be derived as 2020 minus 2019 and then divide by 2019 which is the previous year so you will get uh, the percentages uh, make sure that you click on percentage format as well uh, from the column tools to make sure that these should be visible as a percentages right uh, you are also required to do some uh, initial primary steps in power query to transform the data because when you bring the data from a web which is this website so uh, you can observe here that there are dollar signs are there but when you put for the very first time data into the power bi it will be uh, the column property or that column data type will be in text so you need to convert that into a whole number uh, might be that you will not get proper title so you need to rename the titles by your own so this means that you need to do some uh, transformation regarding the data set which you get from the website uh, in the power query and once it is transformed then that will be available to just drag and drop on the canvas thing which I did is when I just uh, start creating the visuals and I drag that uh, uh, the line items of this income statement now one thing as a as a basic user of uh, power bi I hope everyone understand this that whenever you just drag and drop the some of the fields which has the descriptive names uh, in, the, in the power bi we have a sorting options and it sort from a to z or z to a whereas in the financial statements when you look at the income statement uh, it start from revenue then cost of goods sold then gross profit and then expenses and income and it uh, after that it comes like net income right so 
there is some uh, sorting options which which we are required not the alphabetical way from a to z or z to a otherwise we will be not able to follow the income statement format correctly it it will be sorted either into a to z or z to a so we need a custom sorting format so that revenue uh, which is starting from r comes first cost of goods sold which is which is starting from c comes at the second position in this table and then so on the line items right for that what i did is i created a dimension table in excel now there could be a lot of different strategies when it comes to a dimension table uh, let me explain you what I did. Uh, I created a dimension table in Excel. I had a column of description and before that I put a description number. So I gave revenue a number of 1, cost of goods sold number 2, gross profit 3. And this is called the dimension table for, for the income statement. And I go back to my uh, this Power BI dashboard and I just imported that Excel a uh, table from an excel workbook from common data sources okay and when i imported that i made sure that this should be has a relationship as well so you need to create one to many relationship properly another thing which i did is uh, i also unpivot these columns so i can create some column charts in, in a good proper way okay so that was another requirement so that's that was very easy i went into the power query let me show you how i did it so in the home tab you will find the transform data option so when you click on that a power query editor will open and i just make a copy of that microsoft income statement uh, as, as a new table and then i just unpivot all those columns so see in the power query once you do the transformations and when you set all the columns with the proper data types what i did is i just right click on this particular table and i just copy this table and and paste it okay and when i get the new table exactly the same table uh, i just selected those years column and i uh, went to the transform tab and i click on unpivot column so that uh, this data should be in a tabular format every record in a different row and that will create some my column charts in a more proper uh, and with the correct visualization so that was the need for doing that right and this is the third table which i told you that uh, there was a need to bring uh, a dimension table so that the pn the sequence of the pnl line line item should become in proper way as we created that so uh, these three tables ha has been linked on the back end as a relationship so let me close this So now as you can see here uh, this description dimension uh, table in which you will you will see a description column is basically available in both the tables so i have uh, make a relationship of one to many right and when i go back to my this dashboard what i did is i have uh, pick this uh, visual as a table and you can see that from this description dimension table i have uh, dragged the description field and uh, another thing which you need to uh, consider here is that uh, I have sorted this uh, description column uh, as you can see here I have sorted this description column based on description number now if you don't know how to do it let me tell you in this video but I have a record separate video for this issue as well on my excel basement YouTube channel so if you need to give a sequence on the back end to this description column what you have to do is select this description column and then go to the sort by columns and uh, I have selected description number here so what happens exactly is on the back end revenue has been assigned one cost of goods sold has been assigned two, gross profit has been assigned three and so on so when you put all these descriptions as a table in your this canvas so you will find the sorting as per your own choice now so it will not be sorted now as uh, alphabetical order from a to z or z to a so that's why there was a need to have the dimension table where we have defined the sequence for every line item in order to be appear on on a dashboard so that was very important to do 
right there could be another idea as i told you if you don't want a dimension to table to be separately added and then you don't want to have that uh, relationship between the tables so what you can do is uh, primarily once you uh, imported the data set from uh, from the website what you can do is you can insert one more column here and create a logic uh, with the help of dax that it generates a number sequence a serial number from 1 2 3 4 5 and then you select this column and and uh, sort this column by that particular column number so in that particular case you don't need uh, the dimension table as a separate part so as i told you that could be a strategy from a user end that how he want to do the custom sorting numbers on the back end and to see the pnl on the canvas right and that's same will go for the balance sheet as well in the cash flow if you have that in your dashboard now let's come to the uh, visualizations part now is as you can see on top left side there is a microsoft logo which is easily available on google images uh, you can download this and just you need to insert as an image so you will find on insert tab and click on image and locate that image where you have put on your local drive right so that's an easy simple we have imported an image uh, next thing is that on the center you can see income statement 2016-2020 msft now this is just a text box so to insert a text box you have to go on the insert tab and click on text box right and on the right side i i have mentioned my name created by raheem zulfikarelli so that's also a text box now let's come to these points uh, where you can see uh, the revenue gross profit and net, net income as a key performance indicators from 2020 uh, and 2019 so in in the green color numbers these these numbers are of 2020 and these are in millions and we have then the second row for the last year so these are the numbers of 2019 and in the third row you will find a variance in numbers which is the difference and also a variance as in percentage so we can see that uh, we can say that uh, the revenue has been increased 13.65 percent compared to the last year so on we can similarly we can see gross profit and net income it's your choice that uh, which kind of uh, line items you want to see as a kpis on your dashboard so i have mentioned just three here now how this uh, has been created uh, this has been created without any dax and it's very easy so basically on your visualizations tab you will find kpi visual okay uh, you just need to click that and uh, when once you click it you need to just drag and drop the fields from here so you can see that in the trend axis i have put the description which is coming from the dimension table and 2020 and 2019 which are coming from income statement of microsoft table okay so in the indicator i have put 2020 which is in green color a big font size and target goals which is of last year which is 2019 in this case so for the very first time when you uh, create this visual instead of last year it will be written by default as a goal so what you need to do is you will go to the format area and uh, expand this goals field and in the label just write last year so that the title should be renamed okay and also you can uh, add the label as a value of percentage which is the difference which is the variance okay so i hope that you this point is clear and understood by you uh, further you can see there are three column charts uh, related to income tax operating expenses and research and development these are amount in thousands so i have put in the title dollar in thousands right and these are easy to create you just need to uh, insert the column chart from the visualization pane and just drag the uh, basically relevant fields okay and this this particular charts has been created from a tabular way uh, tabular way which is i told you that i just unpivoted that uh, table so this is the view and this was necessary to bring uh, the neat and clean visualizations on the column chart so this was the requirement to have this kind of a data as well right and this could be transformed in power query within seconds 
now you can see there is a table in which you you can see the description of income statement starting from revenue and it goes till earning per share for the last five years from 2016 till 2020 right now this is coming from just we have drag all the columns you can see on the right side uh, this is from coming from the income statement and description is coming from the dimension table where we have uh, defined the sorting sequence as well right so very this is very easy and the the next part is that you need to format you need to define the bo uh, background color of the header as well you need to define the uh, font size value size as well so this is very easy you will do it within five minutes uh, now this there is another visual which is very good visual and this is also a pnl and uh, in this pnl i have uh, added 2020 and 2019 so 2020 uh, i have put in the values whereas 2019 i have put this field in the previous year right and in the category i have dragged the description from the dimension table okay now if you observe this particular uh, object so you will not find the exactly uh, the PNL sequence here because I am using the trial version of this visual and this visual is called Zebra BI visual and uh, to import this visual basically this visual is available in the app source now there, there are some conditions so let me tell you if you have not explored Zebra B BI and you are go doing it for the very first time so on my YouTube channel Excel basement I have already created a separate video that how you can get start with Zebra BI visuals which are very effective and efficient for the finance professionals accountants and auditors sales and retails professionals as well uh, to have some waterfall charts or do some mixed price variance analysis and many other uh, number crunching related visuals so you can get start with zebra bi so this visual is basically available as a free trial for some particular days and then you have to purchase that so to understand it better and to get start with Zebra BI visuals, you need to watch this video. Every time, if you want to have some custom visuals or, or a visuals from app source, what you need to do is a user must be signing uh, with their official work account into the Power BI desktop version. So on top right side, if you can see my name, Raheem Zolfikar Ali, basically I have been signing from one of my official email address. And uh, how to get this cloud account for absolutely free in this work email address is basically you uh, need to go to this website which is called powerbi.microsoft.com sign in page if you are doing if you are creating this cloud account for the very first time you are required to enter your work email address so remember that hotmail yahoo gmail these public domains will not work out for you you need an official email address to sign up for this uh, cloud account as well as to get visuals from the app source so there are more than 250 plus good amazing visuals are available absolutely free but once you have uh, basically access to the official email account and you have sign in this desktop version so once you are sign in uh, what you can do is you, you will go to the more visuals and you will click on from app source so it will open a window where you can find a lot of different visuals with respect to different categories and these all are free all right so this is the power bi visuals uh, dialog window where you can just write zebra bi or zebra and you will find uh, this visuals are available uh, zebra bi tables and zebra bi charts right so there are more advanced analytics options are available with a lot of other visuals as well if you want something related to the kpis so you will find visuals available right here see but uh, the requirement is that you need to sign in your desktop version with an official email address and you have already signed up uh, from that website which i show you and that once you pick that visual that will be added here on your visualizations pane right and you can just drag and drop the fields and do the formatting right so this is one of the good way to see the variance analysis uh, uh, with comparison of 2020 and 2019 with respect to a income statement of Microsoft right so this how I created uh, this income statement for the last five years of Microsoft in Microsoft Power BI application I hope you will like this uh, and this entire work has been done within 60 minutes within one hour so if you are basic to intermediate user you must 
be able to create these kind of awesome dashboards to be shared with your management. Hope you like this video. Do share it. Thank you.